Hey what's up everyone this is Abhijit from JK welcome on my channel and this video we are going to create communication with Micrologix 1100 PLC using a ethernet cable there is two ways you can communicate with their PLC ethernet or DH485 cable so let me take you on my PLC and we will uh, walk through and uh, I will explain you a little bit more what I mean to if you see I have a Micrologix 1100 PLC front of me if you look right hand side you will find a company label have all the information like mac id or all the other information and in the left hand side we have a two communication ports one is ethernet port which one is mostly commonly named is rj45 connector and the second one is dh485 cable so we can use either one but in this video i'm going to use ethernet cable so if you have already assigned ip address you can generate or you can get ip address from the plc you just simply click on the main menu go to advanced menu and go all the way down and bring this cursor to internet configure once you click you will get mac id plus your ip address if there is no ip address you can uh, assign ip address you using your mac id but we are going to use uh, ip address and we are going to create communication so now we have ip address so we are going to use ethernet cable we are going to connect one end to the plc and other end we are going to use on our pc where we are going to create communication so that's pretty simple so you have all the connection set up you have your plc powered up now we are going to on our computer first thing we have to use our uh, network settings we are going to change our network settings you go to your local area network we are going to change network adapter settings click on local area network we are going to collect a property over here network protocol 4 we are going to put ip address from the same group we have a plc my plc ip address 192.168.130 so here i'm going to use 192.168.1 and 90 it can be any higher number from the same group so once you have your network adapter settings ip address is assigned already here then we're going to click on ok we're going to save all the information we have done already we are going to click ok close we are going to close everything for first time we have to configure drive drivers for that one we are going to open rs links classic so i have open already then we are going to click on communication and we are going to configure driver over here we are going to look for ethernet slash ip driver and we are going to add new here we have add new already if we have multiple drivers you want to put unique name so you can recognize then we are going to press ok like say i have a this already uh, default ip uh, address and i'm going to put my uh, couple name letters and you can put anything you don't have to be exactly same then we are going to press ok and here it picked up already our IP address. We are going to choose the IP address. You have to go apply and press OK. So we have applied already. Now we are going to press OK. So now we all set. We have a created a communication already to make sure our communication is working first. You have to make sure not other drivers are running because what happened we have a multiple people working on the plc probably they have created already communication before so if you have a multiple uh driver configured already then probably your plc not going to communicate it's going to confuse so i have to stop all the older uh, drivers are running i'm going to use only the one i have uh, done then i will close everything so here we can check communication we can check who is active then we are going to open the same uh, driver we have already created and you can see here is the our plc is already live now we have to close this one we are going to open 
a programmer programmer we are going to use rs logics 500 here when i look for our logics 500 there is also 5000 for this plc we need to use 500 so once we have opened the program we are going to click again on communication let me take you back i open rs logics 500 on the top menu we are going to use communication we are going to see who active go online and here is showing me couple so i choose mine i will click on it and we are going to click ok then it will come to this place it asking you create a new file if you create a new file it will take you to the old program if you want to upload a new program on your plc then you have to click on browse so you simply click on browse it will take you to your drive like all the uh, the memory you have it you have a usb drive you have a your hard drive you're going to choose your file where you have located so in my case i have a this folder i will simply select that one and press ok as soon as you press ok you will see it will do some implement and your program is already uploaded to the plc you can make any modifications you want you can change you can check and once you're done you can where it says the program you can just simply click run or whatever so that's the first method you upload new program on your plc or the program you have in your uh, memory or your storage device but now we are going to also try to create a new file like we using all the program we have already for that one first we have to go offline then we are going to choose upload then we come back on this menu and we are going to create new file so once you click on create new file it will take a couple seconds it will uh, show you your old program and it asking you if you want to go to online you click yes you already online with your plc micrologics 1100 that's the way you can create communication with micrologics 1100 using ethernet cable so hope you like my video and it's helpful Thank you very much. If you like my video, please like, share, comment and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video with a new topic.